Hello everyone, Ryan here. So I recently saw the movie Logan, and I definitely enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's definitely my favorite out of all the other uh, Wolverine movies. Even a couple of the X-Men movies that happen to feature Wolverine. Of course, in this one, in Logan, it takes place sometime in the near future. Sometime in the, well, it takes place in the year 2029, I believe. And actually the first couple of scenes in the movie, I want to say the first half, but I'm not sure. Well, the first half of the movie actually takes place in and around the El Paso, uh, El Paso, Texas area, which is a city that I happen to live in. Uh, but then also, too, also takes place across the border somewhere in Mexico. Now, of course, I don't actually know. Uh, I mean, I don't know if they actually did film film here in El Paso uh, or even in Mexico. I mean, I don't know. It's, they could have done the whole thing in, like, Nevada or Utah for, for all I know. But uh, it, it was still kind of cool to see El Paso be mentioned in this movie, uh, even though, I guess you could say, though I do hope that uh, the part of the movie that, that does show El Paso, I hope it doesn't, you know, give the rest of, the rest of the country or the rest of the world a bad impression because there's a scene where, where uh, Logan uh, fights these uh, Cholo guys, which are like, they're pretty much like gangsters, 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 uh, and um, yeah, I mean, uh, I guess you could say at one point maybe there was a lot of, a lot of uh, Cholos here in El Paso, and, um, but I mean definitely that's not what we're all about here in El Paso, so I just wanted to make that clear, make that clear as possible. Uh, but as for the rest of the movie, it's definitely awesome. There's a lot of fight scenes, really awesome fight scenes. Uh, very brutal, brutal too. I mean, I, I believe the, the R rating, this being the first Wolverine movie with an R rating, it really removed a lot of the limitations that the previous movies uh, suffered from. And I definitely like that because to me it seemed like a lot of the, the fight scenes and the action, it in this movie is it's much more true to comic, the comic book version of Wolverine, Logan. So I definitely like that. Uh, although I will say I'm not sure I'm not so sure if this is a family friendly movie. I mean, depending on whether or not you're cool with you know letting your kids or you know you're young nieces or nephews or you know whoever watched a lot of violence but definitely I would say it's not not really a family friendly movie uh, but there is an interesting kind of uh, father daughter relationship that goes on between Logan and this little girl uh, I hope that's not too much of a spoiler I don't think it is yeah, I mean I could spoil I could give away uh, far more much more than that, but I'm not going to. Uh, I think I might upload a separate spoiler review. Uh, but for me, I thoroughly enjoyed this. Uh, Hugh Jackman definitely gives it his best, gives it his all in this movie. Patrick Stewart, I believe Patrick Stewart re actually reached new depths as Professor X, an ailing Professor X. And yeah, it's just really all around great. The ending definitely makes you think, well, for me, it made me think. Uh, it's meant to be like a very tragic ending. I'm not going to give it away, but yeah. So definitely on a scale of 1 to 10 to I give Logan a definite... In fact, I'm going to give it a 10. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Because the story is just that great. The acting is also that great. 
even the little girl who's in it, I believe that her actress's name is uh, Daphne Keen, if I'm not mistaken. She's even awesome, too, so definitely go watch it. Check it out if you haven't already. 10 out of 10, Logan. That'll do it for my review. This movie review. Thanks for watching. As always, till next time, keep it real. Keep on rocking. And peace.